Campbell's has been making condensed soup since the 1800s. Its soups are also an ingredient in a famous side dish that we all love, green bean casserole, a holiday favorite. Mark Strassman visited Campbell's headquarters in New Jersey and found a company looking to the future while honoring its past. Have you, have you had your soup today? Campbell's, of course. Everyone knows Campbell's. Warm soup, warm memories. The red and white can. That jingle. That's what Campbell's soups are. Mm, good. Campbell's soup, now in its 125th year, celebrated by Andy Warhol, also known for a timeless holiday dish, green bean casserole. It's extremely simple. This recipe only has six ingredients. Omar Rivera, one of Campbell's corporate Campbell's chefs. Recipe. So we're starting by adding our soup. I'm sure you would say the key ingredient. Of course, it's of course the magic ingredient. Cream of mushroom soup. Campbell's created this recipe seven decades ago. This is going to bake for 25 minutes or until it's hot and bubbly. A classic for a reason. Yeah, that is good. Isn't it? Yeah. Campbell's ladles out condensed soup like no one else, dominating with 80% of the market. Campbell's is one of the most iconic brands. So what's unique about Campbell's is they've really relied on their tradition. These are our actual founders. That is Joseph Campbell and Abraham Anderson. Scott Hearn, the company's archivist, explains Campbell was a veggie vendor, Anderson a commercial canner. Nothing fancy at first, selling tomatoes in cans like this, then soup. This is beefsteak tomato. In 1897, in a food first, John Dorrance cooked up a formula for canning condensed soup, stirring soup sales for decades. This is the first iteration of the now famous yes. label? Yes, 1898, 35, 40, That label's changed subtly a dozen times 80s. over the years. You, you don't mess with an 70s, icon. 80s, 90s, and today. I've known Campbell's my whole life. Mark Klaus has, too. Growing up, chicken noodle soup meant, you know, kind of warm home, cold day. Today, Klaus is Campbell's president yeah, and look, CEO. It's a, it's a piece of American history. Just like he showed the, us something special. Itself. And so the relationship with, with Andy, I think, is actually a pretty special one. This 1962 uh, Andy Warhol original, worth millions. Initially, the company was suspicious, protective of its brand. Then Warhol's Campbell series went the 1960s version of viral. And I think the team at the time said, you know what? We're going to go with it, and I guess the rest is history. I mean, there's no question that that can is, is magic. But when Klaus took over as CEO in 2019, Campbell's corporate strategy had fizzled. Would you say that soup had been left behind? Yeah, I think soup always is going to be a, an important part of the mm -hmm. business. The future of the company was pointed further away from that core portfolio. And that was a mistake? I think it was. I think the idea of playing through our brands instead of maybe around our brands was really the way we kind of attacked the situation to get the business built back. Rejuvenated with a back-to-basics approach, Campbell sold one billion cans of soup last year. Eating in during the pandemic helped. The company's new challenge? Younger consumers, not necessarily soup consumers. We're in a new day, a new moment, new consumer needs. How are we going to make these businesses relevant? But no one's looking for new chicken noodle soup. No. If all of the people that have asked me for things, I don't think anyone said, hey, why don't you go change that chicken noodle soup? Knowing when to change, but what to leave alone in the competitive business of food, gold. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman, Camden, New Jersey.